I think President Trump, Donald J. Trump, is done politically. If you were to run for the presidency in 2024... On Monday, Fox News host Stuart Varney gleefully interviewed Donald Trump about his political future, just five months after declaring that Trump was politically done. This reversal is hilarious to watch and really is a lesson in just how phony these news actors on television are. So first, I'm going to show you what Stuart Varney said just five months ago, right after the January 6th insurrection. The events of Wednesday, January the 6th will be forever linked to the presidency of Donald Trump. It was the last day of the Trump era and it ended in chaos and frankly disgrace. The president addressed the Save America March. He gave a combative speech. We're going to the Capitol, he said. And that's where the crowd went. Joe Biden appeared on camera and said, we must restore democracy, decency, and the rule of law. He looked presidential. The rioters gave him his opportunity, and he took it. A couple of hours later, John Ossoff was declared the winner of the Georgia Senate seat, confirming a Democrat sweep of power. They run the House, they run the Senate, and the White House. Wednesday marked a political transformation. When Trump supporter Lindsey Graham stood on the floor of the Senate and said, count me out, and when cabinet members discussed removing the president from office, you know that Donald Trump's political future is done. Matt Schlapp is with us, well-known conservative, frequent guest on the program. I'm not sure he likes what I've just said, but I think President Trump, Donald J. Trump, is done politically. What say you? Incredible. I think Donald J. Trump is done politically. Five months later, this happened. If you were to run for the presidency in 2024, would you consider Ron DeSantis, governor of Florida, as your running mate? Sure, I would. But, you know, there are numerous people that are great. I would certainly consider Ron. So you are considering running in 2024. How about 2022 for the House or Senate? Has that uh, crossed your mind at well, all? Well, so many people are saying that. I should run in 22, and uh, I think that's highly unlikely, but they, they do say that a lot. You've heard that. Uh, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Just, I don't know how these people go out there with no shame. How can you possibly go out there on January 7th, declare Trump politically done, and then five months later have him on your show laughing, giggling, while you're interviewing him, asking him about who his future running mate's going to be and, and if he's going to run in 24 or 2022. <laughs> it's, just, it's just amazing. And of course, there was no pushback at all on, on anything throughout this interview. Daily Beast uh, wrote this saying, Fox Business Network anchor Stuart Varney offered absolutely no pushback when former President Donald Trump used his Monday morning interview to peddle a baseless and totally bonkers conspiracy theory claiming Facebook stuffed phony ballots during the 2020 presidential election. Facebook. Facebook stuffed ballots. Okay. Uh, just uh, no pushback at all from Stuart Varney. It, the thing, I, I think Stuart Varney knows that Donald Trump is completely full of shit, but he's in this job where all they care about is the ratings, and Stuart Varney cares more about the money he's making being a, a, a host for Fox than he actually does about anything else. He has no principles. He doesn't care at all. So he'll happily, you know, just completely change positions from this to that, completely reverse what he said before, because he doesn't care. As long as the paycheck keeps coming, then he'll listen to whatever, you know, his overlords at Fox News want him to do. And if that means bringing on Donald Trump to have a, 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 a giggling interview with him and talk about his political future, then he'll do that. But it, it really shows you that these networks, especially, of course, Fox News, they... I don't have to say it. <laughs> they don't care about facts, obviously. And I think it was pretty clear here in maybe one of the most obvious examples that we've ever seen from a Fox News host.